Hi, this is Kat with Beadaholic, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to wire wrap a coin bead inside a bead frame. Now, I'm going to be using some lovely Raven's Journey beads here, and I'm going to put them into these little teardrop bead frames. But as you'll notice, there's a little extra space around the outside of those frames, and we're going to fill that in using some Miyuki 110 seed beads. Now, also to complete this design, I have some earring posts here, I have some jump rings. And I have these little bullet clutch backs with a little plastic on them, but feel free to use whichever back is most comfortable for you and your ears. Now to do this wire wrapping, I am going to be using some 28 gauge artistic craft wire here. And this is a beautiful little gold color. So I'm going to be using that here today. And as far as tools go, I have some chain nose pliers. I have my flush cutters down here. And then I also have a pair of wire straightening nylon jaw pliers and I have a pair of round nose pliers. I think it's also helpful to have a ruler handy, but if you don't, you can just kind of eyeball it and then just trim your wire. But if you have everything ready to go, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's bring that ruler in and we are going to trim off about 11 inches of our wire here. So just unspool that, get about 11 inches or so. And I'm just gonna tuck that back in that spool there so I don't have any waste if I can avoid it. And just come in and just trim that off and I just kinda like to just tuck mine down so my wire stays nice and clean. All right, so now we can go ahead and take our ruler out of the way and come in and go ahead and grip one end there with your chain nose pliers. And I'm just gonna slide this down just to straighten out that little kink in the extra wire there. All right, perfect. So let's see our bead frame here and our bead. Now our bead is side drilled here, so we're just gonna go in through one side. And what I wanna do is I want this to sit about center on my piece. And I'm gonna take one of my wires and bend it down, so it just is kinked a little bit down, and then take the other side of my wire and bring it up. So we're gonna kind of create a little spiral that's gonna happen here. Now, kind of using your wire as a needle, come over here and pick up 13 of your Miyuki seed beads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And I'm just gonna double check that, two, four, six, eight, 10, 13, beautiful. So slide that all the way down to your bead. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap that wire up and over the top, and we're kind of creating a little frame around our bead before we put it into our bead frame. And what I like about this 28 gauge wire is it's really thin, so go ahead and bend it back, and you're just gonna thread it through right on top so it's gonna come out the other side. So we're gonna kind of use it as though it was a little thread. So it's gonna wrap, wrap, wrap right around the top there. Perfect. All right, now we can leave that side B, and I bet you guessed we're gonna do it on the other side too. All right, so let's go ahead and pick up our 13 beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And again, just double checking. Two, four, six, eight, 10 and 13. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna come up and over and go through where that wire's coming out now and thread through. Another reason to use that 28 gauge wire because now we have three wires going through that center. All right, so now give it a nice little tug, pull, pull, pull. And this is gonna fit right inside there. But it's also gonna sit a little bit on top. So this is going to have a little bit more of a front and back type of earring situation to it. So what we wanna do is, because we have those little tiny gaps on the side, we're gonna fill those in before we wrap it to our frame. So again, to one side here, I'm just gonna string on one seed bead. So it's gonna sort of sit right in the middle there, just kinda of fill up that little gap that I have going. And then I'm gonna lay it on top of my piece here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wrap that wire around that frame and again, with that 28 gauge wire, I'm gonna sneak it up through and I want it to come so that it's below. And here's where you can use your pliers if you need some help. It's gonna be 
below and then we're going to wrap it around and we're going to wrap it five times. Now sometimes I find that it's nice to pinch that wire together just so that we get that nice clean wrap happening. All right, and then kind of thread it down through again. And so you're just sort of creating these little loops. So it's almost like you're tying it on to this little bead frame here. And then wrap it down one more time. So that's three. Because that first one is that, you know, when we laid it across the top. All right, and let's do one more there. And again, because we have a front and a back, wrap it around to the back and then looking at the back there, you can come in and just snip off that wire, just like so. And if your wire's poking out, just use your little chain nose pliers and tuck that in. All right, so now, if you need to, you can scooch that down. We're gonna come to the other side here, and don't forget to add on your one little seed bead. I just find that it just sort of helps it look a little nice and finished there. And again, wrap it. Now I've turned it over so because I'm right-handed, so we're still gonna be wrapping down, but it's just gonna go this way as opposed to this way. So loop down through. And again, if you wanna get your chain nose pliers here involved so we get a nice tight little wrap. There you go, and just pinch that. And repeat one more time. So now that's three. There you go. And my wire's starting to get a little kinked, so you can just come in here with your nylon jaw pliers and just run it along there. All right. And again, all good. You can give it a little pinch together and then bringing that all the way around to the back and come in with our flush cutters and trim that off. We can set our little scrap aside, tuck your wire if you need to, and we have our lovely little bead inside a bead frame, just like that. All right, so the last little step here is go ahead and take your jump ring and open that up, just a nice little twist Slip it onto the top of the little teardrop there. And again, we wanna make sure that we're facing the right way, so this is definitely going to have a front and a back. And come in and just close that up. And then whenever you're ready, you can add your earring back to it. Just like so. So you have a fun little earring and it just takes some little seed beads. This is a great way to learn a little bit about wire wrapping, you know, but create a really fun design that really adds a lot to that bead frame. So all you need to do is just repeat that entire process and of course you'll make your second earring. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can get all of these supplies and see even more tutorial videos by heading over to beadaholic.com and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here to our YouTube channel so you don't miss anything from Beta Holic.